So a couple of months after you spend some time with Patrick Waugh, he ends up being traded to the Colorado Avalanche. We all know why the trade had to take place, the circumstances surrounding it. What I'm wondering, what I want to know from you is what does Patrick Waugh bring to the table other than the fact that he's a great goaltender? What are the intangibles that he brings along? I think the biggest intangible is that Colorado wants to win a Stanley Cup now, and Patrick Waugh is a proven Stanley Cup player. He brings a great presence on the ice. He's got incredible experience from overtime games and key playoff matches. But more importantly, I think he brings a calming influence in their dressing room. They have a lot of young guys who haven't been down that road before, and Patrick will be the guy who leads them to the, to the cup, I think. We caught up with Patrick uh, during a road trip, actually, sat down, asked him about the, the confrontation, the circumstances surrounding the trade. He offered some very interesting insights. Little by little, but they won't do it this way. Dan now is in, and fans on the shot. Oh! And also asked Patrick what uh, uh, he said to Mr. Corey, because what he says to Mr. Corey, he told him that it was his last game in Montreal. First of all, I want to tell my fans how sorry I am for my behavior on Saturday. My only excuse is that I was under a lot of frustration. Patrick, now that you've had time to reflect back on everything that took place in Montreal, uh, looking back on it, would you have done anything differently at all? I guess we all do that. And, uh, but, you know, I, when, I, when I sat down and I said, okay, I done that, what, what's going to happen next? It's more the way I was thinking. I mean, I think I always thought hockey is, is a game of mistake, and we all do mistake, and nobody's perfect. And... and I did, okay, I did my mistake. It's a huge mistake. I, I understand that it's something that a, a player is not supposed to do. I did two mistakes that night, one to the fans and one towards the organization. And uh, when we get in the office, the after original was really clear to us. It was, uh, it, was a, it was it for me in Montreal. They were suspending me and, and they were waiting to treat me as quick as possible. But after that, we had a little talk and, and both both parties agreed that maybe it was time to, to take different direction, and I, uh, I accepted it. Now, what was it like for you uh, the first time you put on the Colorado Avalanche jersey and, and looked in the mirror? What was it like? Yeah, it was, a, it was a funny thing, and it was kind of bizarre in the warm-up, you know, just looking at the you know, and it was looking at me like, Checking my jersey and new arena, I'd never played in that arena before. It was the first time I was playing in that building. And it was kind of uh, it was kind of funny, but I like, again, at times times to arrange everything. I mean, I felt more comfortable when I played my second game in Toronto. Uh, you know, it's more concentrate and you know, it's a lot easier for me to play that game. Patrick picks up his first win. As a member of the Colorado Avalanche, the 290th victory of his career. You're going to a franchise, uh, relatively speaking, that doesn't have the tradition that Montreal has. Do you notice that at all, or does it affect you at all? Well, you know, the Montreal Canadian, I think it's, it's probably one of the special dressing rooms in, in hockey. I mean, there's not too many dressing rooms like that. When you look at, on the top, you see start 1917 through today. It's different. I mean, Montreal is, I mean, it's, it's a different organization. But I'm going in a team that, you know, the thing you see on the, on the wall, it's all about commitment. And everybody, it's a team that wants to win. It's a team that wants to do well in this year. And it's a team that uh, has lots of talent. I just thought that Patrick was more of a type of guy that, you know, uh, was very relaxed and just go out and play. And, uh, you know, it was tough to rattle his cage when we played against him. I know our team tried all the time falling on him and running into him as much as we could. And we never, we never could rattle his cage. But, uh, you know, he's very intense. And I think that was the, the thing that surprised me the most. Here we go. Short-handed. Patrick, after everything you've been through, everything that happened in Montreal, everything that's happened to you down in Denver, do you feel as though it's made you a stronger person, it's made you a better person? I believe that situations like that helps anybody to be a better person. I, I, believe, I strongly believe that. Uh, any situation during your career, I mean, that's what I love about the game. I mean, it, it's such a beautiful game, it's such a fun game. I mean, going to Colorado and finish my career, somewhere else in Montreal. I mean, I don't see that as, as bad. I mean, I think it'd be an experience. 
you know, I think it would be a fun experience for, for my family. And uh, I mean, it's too bad. I was so close from lots of record from Jacques Plan I could reach in, in the, inside of one or two years. But you know, it, I guess everybody has a good own destiny. And I guess mine was all over in Montreal. And, and now I got to make a turn. But always, I will always have my memories from the Montreal team. And I was all, I think I'm going to use them to help me during situation in Colorado for sure.